Good evening, guys. It's Crystal once again from Saskatchewan, Canada. Oh my goodness. What a way to start the video. Pardon me. I have a Dollarama haul. And then I think I'm going to go and lay down once again. It is Friday, and I'm going to take advantage of that. I want to give you an update first, though, on an item in my last haul. These earrings, oh, I better use my other hand. Oh, and I got my nails done. Yay, I'm so happy. Okay, these earrings that I hauled on my last haul that I got from Timu, uh, when I went to put them on today, can you, whoa, can you see that? It broke. If I can show you part of there. Yeah, the bro the earring broke right off of the back of the stud. That's the stud. Yeah, I'm not too impressed. Because they were heart earrings, I was going to wear them to work, and they broke. So I will be asking for a refund. All right, now with my order that I got, or not my order, sorry, my haul, I'm wearing my Timu earrings that I got on one of the other hauls, these ones, the little hearts. I'm wearing my Give Me Coffee to Get Me Started and Jesus to Keep Me Going shirt, Timu shirt. Love it. I'm wearing a Timu bracelet. And I love it. I've been wearing this all day. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so for, whoa, for starters, I know Timu carries these, but I believe they are, I want to say they're more expensive than Dollarama, I think. This was $4, there's 64 pieces in it. That's the bottom. And what they are is they look like little, I'll show you here. These are what they come in. Sorry, I flipped my camera the other way so that uh, my pause and record and whatever is on the left side now, not the right side. So if you f feel the vi video is kind of off, that's why. But yeah, these are like little Tic Tac containers. They open up like that. This whole thing comes off. And what I do with them, I'll just show you because I have some here, um, is I just... I cut the, the little bag that each bead uh, color comes in. I cut the thing. Well, you're not going to be able to see that. And I tape it. And then when I'm all done, the painting, I will do this. Now, the reason I have so many... Um, I have a lot of these is because if you remember that um, diamond painting that I got, I think it was an elephant, and I said that the, what you call it, wasn't sticking the way I wanted it to, um, I said I would either just toss it, I got it from the dollar store, um, or I would, I don't know, figure something else out, well I ended up just tossing the thing, and the beads that I had used, I stuck into one of these. Now this you can also get at Dollar Round, or Dollar Tree. I believe they're $1.25. They are magnetic on the bottom. I just don't want any to come out. And so it's a clear lid. And I just put all the beads in there and maybe come Christmas time or something, I'll make an ornament or something out of there. Um, but what I do, like here's an example of the one that I'm working on right now. That's what I do with the, and I just tape that right onto the thing. And then when I'm done a, um, a diamond painting, like this one was a butterfly keychain, which I showed you right here that I did. Um, I put that on it. I write butterfly keychain on it. Yeah, my, my writing is 
doctors write neater than I do. And, the, and then on the top, I seal the top so that none of them come out. And then I just I like abbreviate. So BK is butterfly keychain. Um, this one was the cactus keychain that I did. Same thing, cactus keychain. And yes, the I leave everything still on there. I tape this all together. And then I abbreviate CK for cactus keychain. And then I keep it in the box. But what I also do is on the lid, I will put what is wh which diamond paintings I have done so that I know which beads they go to. And then on the inside, it's hard to see because I've got a bunch of stuff in this one. Um, see, I write down the size of the diamond painting, whether it was a keychain or whatever it was. So that's what I do there. Um, <clears throat> and right now I've got the ones that I've completed in here and the ones that I have not completed in here as well. Like for the for the same diamond painting. So I'm going to maybe if I can find more keychains, I'm going to um, do some more keychains up so that I can these ones I've already sealed. I've used the diamond painting sealer that I have, this stuff that I also got from Timu. This stuff was $558 and then once I received the order um, and hauled it, it was $491. And it's uh, six, yeah, 60 mil. I like it. I really like it. Um, and just a recap of when I, when I did haul it, it's got a, you can see the hole there, and this is a sponged, sponge tip. The lid has a hole in it. Or not a hole, but like a spiky thingy that goes inside just to keep the, because that's where the, the sealing, sealant stuff comes out of, so... Anyway, um, as I mentioned, I started the one diamond painting. So I'm going to show you what I've started so far. And I use this to put on the painting when I have peeled back part of the clear plastic. Pardon me. So that my hand itself doesn't stick to um, maybe parts of it that I haven't done that are sticky. So this is what I've done so far. I started it yesterday. I don't know if you guys can really tell. And then I mark in the side here. I just mark off the, the ones that I've done with a red marker. So I started on this. And what I have noticed is, um, like I've done part of these angels here. I've done part of this area, part of this area. This one did not have, like a lot of the other diamond paintings that I've gotten, everything. Like it, this sky in the background, the star, um, all of this, the manger, everything would be diamond painting. But this is not. So I don't think this will take very long. I will most likely finish it off tonight because, as I mentioned yesterday, there's 13 different colors to use. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six left. And I started this last night once I had my good little nap. So, and these are meant for, it's just a silicone. They're meant for glue gun. You set your glue gun on it. So if any drips off of the glue gun while it's still on, um, it'll go right on here. And then once it dries, it just peels right off. So I use that as my, as my, um, what you call it, my diamond painting thing. I have one for glue gun and I have one for diamond painting. So, just wanted to update you and show you that. And I will put this back in here before I end up confusing myself. Now, so put back to this, there's 64 of those these little in here. So, and I haven't decided yet because I do have two of these containers already with all the diamond paintings that I've done. I do have two of these containers that are already full of diamond painting beads uh, from doing the um, diamond paintings that are completed. So I don't know. I might just stick them all into something like this 
Or, I mean, a person could do like I did with this yesterday. Whoa. I, I added the blue, so I think it looks a lot better with the blue. It's a lot more full, too, now. But I added both those two packages of the blue. I added that to this. So, I think that's really pretty. Really happy with that little idea that I did. All right, so that is that. <clears throat> and then I had to get another one of these. You guys, I got these from the Dollar Dollarama for $4.50. I had bought one from from Timu that I absolutely loved that was for my tablet and I loved it actually. I probably can show you. Do I have it with me? Is it nearby? Yes. This is the one I had gotten from Timu. It's got the handle. It's got double zipper here. It's a double zipper. Love it. Um, I have my tablet in it. <clears throat> I don't remember what I paid for this, unfortunately, because it was from another haul. But it's got, in one section, it's got a pocket, long pocket here, a long pocket here. I've got some stuff in it. And then in this section, I don't want to lose that foam that's in there. It's got a couple spots here, like for pens or for whatever. A couple spots here. And then I usually put my spare foam in there. I'll take that out. And it's got a spot up here, a spot here, and a spot here. And I love, I absolutely love this thing. And then on the other side, that is where I put my tablet, my pen, and my tablet stand. And this is like a velvety... Very, very, very nice. I love it. I absolutely love this thing. Love it. But the other one that I, the first, uh, let me back up here. Okay, so I got another one of these from Value Veil or from Dollarama. Now I'll show you the first one that I got. This is the first one. It's black. This one here is gray. Okay, um, I'll show you what I put in this. It's got little, sort of kind of little feet. This is what I've done with this one. There's just two pockets with, you know, that's it. But you can put whatever you want in there. Like the picture shows your cell phone, like a notepad and pen, your earbuds, the charger, all that stuff. This, I, oh, I'm so glad these have been invented because I've got so much electronic stuff. Like, just to give you guys an idea, I'll try and show you. This is the electronic stuff that I carry around. And it's just in a bag. And I carry this around. So having these is way more beneficial. So, I'm super, super, super happy that I was able to pick up another one. I may end up going back and getting a second one, but for right now, I'm going to see how those are going to work for me. Um, I picked up another diamond painting today from Dollarama. Um, $4. I know it's hard to see, but it's basically a pathway. Like out to a lake. A dock, I guess you would call it. And these ones are 11.8 by 11.8. Pardon me. And again, if you guys can see where the numbers are, that's the, where you put your diamond painting. All of this up here is not, you put nothing up there, which is kind of nice, you know? Um, and this one comes with 3, 6, 9, 12, 14 colors. And you've got your tray, your pen, and your wax. Every diamond painting that I've ever gotten has come with all of that. So, I got that. <clears throat> and if you guys remember the pictures, the canvas pictures that I hauled yesterday, one was give it to God and go to sleep, and the other one was uh, can't change the past, but you can stop where you are 
and I forget how it how it ended but yeah so the one that I just said read um, the one that I just said you can't change your past I got a frame for it this one is uh, 11 by 14 uh, 475 it's just glass there's no um, nothing else it's just glass so I got that I'm pretty happy about that and then the one give it to God and go to sleep is a 12 by 18 frame this is usually what I put all my dollar uh, dollar store painting or diamond paintings in uh, 450 450 and it's 12 by 18 so I'm happy about that and then I picked up one of these haven't quite decided what I'm going to use it for but I'll figure something out it is a kitchen turntable space saver fridge and pantry organizer provides easy access in hard to reach places and it is 475 it doesn't say the size it just says bpa free so it is a hard plastic it's got its little turntable thing on the bottom like i said 475 for that nice nice um height and i had what i'm about i shouldn't have done that what i'm about to show you next i had that inside it so you can tell because it's all inside this one. You'll you'll be able to see with what I'm going to show you next. I got two packages of these because I want them all over my house. They are scented pine cones for two seventy five, and they are the large pine cones. You see how big those are, like one per hand, and they smell so good. And I just had them sitting in that <laughs> in this bag. So um, there's the second one. And then I picked up these. I thought, hmm, maybe that would work. Because originally I wanted something that I could put those pine cones in and put them like in the bathroom or wherever. I seen these in my favorite color. Three pieces. They are uh, 23.5 by 11 by 5.7 centimeters or 9.25 by 4.3 by 2.25 inches and they were 250 for three of them they're a decent size yeah they've got some of that stuff in them too from the pine cones but i figured why not and if you can tell from this bottom one right there well i can take this apart and show you guys That's the size of one. Pretty good. I think that's pretty good. I mean, I do have these other ones here that I showed you. Here they go. I do have these ones that I picked up from Dollar Tree. There's three of those. Um, they will fit inside, but there's still room. So these ones are a little bigger. A little bigger. They're about the same, uh, uh, um, just as deep. And then I also had these ones that I, I know I've showed you guys. I used for some of my jewelry. Um, <clears throat> these ones, they're hard plastic. Again, they're nice and long, nice and deep. And they will as well fit inside. So they're all about the same, just kind of different styles. I'm very happy about that. When I seen these, I thought, oh, that might work. And I don't remember who was hauling it. I think it was yesterday. I watched the video um, sometime in the morning, I think, when I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with my day to make it go quicker. Um, but I forget who, was wa who I was watching. But they, they hauled a... Um, sorry, my OCD is bugging me. I got to get rid of this leftover label. Um, anyway, they hauled containers, but they were contain they, they were like a, 
Um, oh, I wish I would remember who did it. It wasn't hauling it with Mima. It wasn't Hey Everybody, I don't think. Oh, was it <laughs> Retail Therapy on a Budget? No. I can't remember. But anyway, part of the reason, too, why I got these is because maybe I can put um, my glue gun and the glue sticks into there. When I was getting these, I made sure they were long enough for, for the long glue sticks, and they are. But I don't know if I want to hold the, if I want to store them open like that. I, I'm just not 100% sure. And then the last, <clears throat> pardon me, I got a frog in my throat. If anybody knows where it came from, you know, let me know and I can send it back. <laughs> the very last item that I got, I thought these were lipsticks or, um, not lipsticks, uh, not chapstick, like a lip oil, but they're not. They're a body mist collection, three of them by 20, and they're 20 mils each, um, by Blossom and Petals, and the three different scents are Cherry Blossom, Sweet Peach, and Berry Vanilla. So, I have not tried them yet. I am going to do that right now. If I can figure out what I did with my little knife. My husband told me today, ouch, that, um, okay, well, I'll see you later, honey. And I said, yeah, see you later. Have a good night at work. And course I wished him a happy birthday he's 49 and uh, I told him I said if I'm sleeping when you get home just please just wake me and he's like okay I will so this is what they look like nice nice decent size I mean you go from the top of my finger to almost the bottom of my palm almost that's the how big they are this one is cherry blossom it is oh it's not a roll-on that's not bad come on I'm just gonna let that kind of do its thing cherry blossom This one here. And I've been learning, do not rub your your perfume stuff in. Just let it air out. And the best time to smell it is when you freshly sprayed it. I always wait until it's had a little bit of time to kind of um, go into the air. <laughs> I can't think of the name. Okay, so let me see. This cherry blossom. That's not too bad. I don't know. It might end up giving me a headache. It might be too strong. And then sweet peach. And I'm not a peach fan. I'll eat peach, but I will not drink it or put it on my skin. Anything scented peach like that, forget it. It's like, oh, no, I don't like it. So... This is the first time you will see me put something on my skin that's peach. Where did I spray it? That one's not bad, but I don't know. I don't know if it's enough to notice. It might be that I've got one sprayed already. And then this one, Berry Vanilla. I'm really looking forward to this one. And I mean for... What did I say? How much did I pay? Oh! Yay, it was free. <laughs> I'm not sure. It doesn't say. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now we're going to spray this one. I'm going to spray it into my elbow. That one worked right away. No, I can't get. Oh, yes. Okay, that one is going right into my purse. That I like. But I will do a... Um, 
thumbnail with them because this is the last that I have for my items. Looks like I'm holding some kind of tube things, you know? <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to hold this, you guys. It would have probably have been better to put them back. And thank you guys so much for understanding yesterday when I said, that's it, I'm calling it an early night. I was done. Oh my goodness, I was done. Bella, you okay? There. Okay. Okay, that'll be my thumbnail for this. I'm going to take them back out. Oh, get back on there. I pulled it by the lid instead. And that is my, that's my haul, you guys. Um, now I'm not sure, maybe you guys can help me with this. Jeez, I seem to be asking for more advice than anything nowadays. Um, do you guys know when you have, when you're playing fish land or farmland, um, stuff like that, any of the games on Timu, um, do you know if a person once you've given their code, like if I put mine in my, like my main page or whatever, um, my code for each of those games, is that going to be good until that game is over? Or do I have to like every day put in a new code? I'm just not sure. Um, because I know I've put my code in there for both games. I put them into one of my um, community posts. And I thought, well, gee, if I have to update my code, I should do that because I have not been doing that. Um, but, um, yeah, if somebody knows, let me know. That would be greatly appreciated. And because I did not do it last night, I will do it now. Oops. I'm dropping everything, you guys. This has been one of those days. And I am wearing also my those two heart clips that I had. And one of my, oh, my hair tie completely came out. One of my um, scrunchies that I got from Dollar Tree, the red one, and this is the pink one. I'm wearing, actually wearing the red one. But I was meant to wear it with my hair kind of sort of not all in the ponytail. So that you can actually see the hearts. Kind of like that, even though I've got, like, no hair in there. But, you know. Um, but, yeah, I will read those Bible things right now while I'm thinking about it. And I haven't had a chance to put those uh, fairies up yet, but I will. I will get that done maybe this weekend. And I think tonight I'm going to add... Um, I'm going to add something from here that I'm going to read, and then I'm going to add one of these. I Like I said, I've never done this, and they are just um, like a devotion journal. But I'm going to read a page out of that, and maybe you guys have some ideas that you can post down below. Um, I don't know. Okay, I think we had one more of these to read, I think, or was it two? Um, yeah, one more. One more uh, reading, and then these are done. And maybe I can put them into a giveaway or something. I don't know. We will see. Since I will no longer need them because I've already used them all, or read them all, I mean. Okay. So let's start out with the today's prayer. The elastic is stuck. Uh, 
All right, the first one, today's prayer is, No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. 1 John 4, 12. Maybe I'll hold it up there so that nobody can see that glare. And then that's what it says. Okay. Ouch. Just protracted myself with the elastic. That was fun. Not really. Not at all. Okay, the next one. Today's prayer. May the Lord now show you kindness and faithfulness. 2 Samuel 2 6. All right. You know, because I have four of these different packs, I did think, you know what, I'm just going to go from reading four different kinds. To reading one and treat them like they're all one pack but I'm used to reading four so I'll continue to read four. today's prayer a heart at peace gives life to the body but en envy rots the bones Proverbs 14 30 Boy, oh boy, those cinnamon cones are really, really potent. Like, oh my goodness, potent. Okay, and the last today's prayer is this one. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 4, 8. There's that. I should bring it closer. Wow, we're already at half an hour in this, you guys. Wowzers. Crystal, step up your game here. Get a little quicker. Well, this is the last part of it anyway, so. Okay, now we're going to read these. And for any new subscribers to my channel... Welcome and thank you for joining us. To any of my returning subscribers, welcome back. And guess what would be a haul without that clock going off? <laughs> that is my husband's clock. So I'll just give that a minute. It is not four o'clock. That thing only bonged four times. It needs to be replaced. Well, batteries anyway, not it, but the batteries do. My husband loves those clocks. All right, so the first one we're going to read is green, which means anxious. And it says, And let the peace of, peace of Christ reign in your hearts, and for this reason you will be called into one body and be grateful. Sorry, I keep forgetting about that blind spot back there. Okay, the next one is blue, dark blue, sad. The Lord Jesus said, in this world you have suffering, but in me there is peace. That one I really like. Okay. 
And if you guys can't see what I'm showing, if it's not close enough to the camera, please let me know. Okay. Ah, next one is pink, which is thankful. If someone does not love the Lord, this person can be cursed or cursed. The Lord must come. Like if I should bring them up this way, maybe. Let me know. I look bald. I got no hair. Okay. Light blue is lonely. Cast all your worries on God, for he cares for you. Imagine. Red means angry. Turn to me and have mercy on me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Well, the picture on that TV just brightened up everything. The last one is yellow, which means happy. I will call you blessed because you are the most blessed among all that I have seen, and the more blessed among all that I know. Okay. And that is it for Read Me When, color-coded Bible verses. Those are done. I can put those into a giveaway if somebody is interested. I can do that. Um, I think my next giveaway may be when I hit 500 subscribers. I think I'm halfway there. I think. Two. No, almost halfway there, I think. But yeah, I can put these into a giveaway. And um, yeah, if you're interested, not a problem. They were... 571 and they are discontinued is what I wrote on them and that is what they say Okay Now let's go with everyday miracles Let go The light has come. Today, the time of light begins for you and everyone. It is a new era in which a new world is born. The old one has left no trace upon it in its passing. Today, we see a different world because the light has come. And also, you guys, before I forget, I was thinking about this earlier today, and I think I'm going to start something new with my channel, and that is, um, I haven't quite figured out if I'm going to mention it on every video, or if I'm just going to mention it like at the beginning of every month or the end of every month, um, and that is birthdays, and if you have a birth, I might do it every every channel um or i mean every every at the end of every video so that i can do a shout out if you have a birthday comment below and then i can give you a shout out on the next video or if you have an upcoming birthday um just for the month we're in so like right now today is february 9th if you have a, vi a birthday coming up um on like say the the 10th or something like that or in the even just in the month of february maybe that's how we'll do it the month of february anything past no just the month of february you don't have to give me the date or maybe it would be best if you did like my husband 
today. You don't have to tell me the age, but um, if you haven't already told me where you're from, you can say this is, you know, uh, my birthday is tomorrow, February 10th, and I am from Miami, Florida. I don't know why I keep picking Florida, but I do. And, and that's it. And then on my next video, I will make a note of who had birthdays and I'll give them a shout out. I think I want to do that. Instead of saying like at the end of every month, um, let me know in the comments if you have a birthday coming up next month and then doing it on the first video of the month, doing a shout out to all those birthdays. I'm not 100% sure how I want to do this. Maybe you guys have some ideas, but I just want to do shout outs just to recognize my audience and show some appreciation. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm very grateful that you're here. And um, so anybody that I have missed thus far this year, seeing how it's already in February, um, Feel free to mark it down if I if I don't already know that you've had a birthday come and go. Um, feel free to mark it down if you want to. Um, myself, I just had a birthday on the 18th of January. And um, I turned 47. <clears throat> I turned very old. <laughs> and that's no offense to anybody who's older than that. I'm not trying to say, well, if I'm very old, then what does that make you? Well, that makes you ancient, you know. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. But, um, but yeah, I just figured it's a way to kind of um, interact with the people that have been um, have been watching me and following me, and perhaps subscribed or just watched along the way from the beginning. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. I started this in like September. I think it was September, and. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying this. I'm loving this. I'm loving that I'm over 200 subscribers and it's only been since September. Um, loving all the feedback, whether it's positive or negative, which I haven't really had any negative, like I've said before. And um, I'm loving the comments. I'm loving the, the uh, every like that I get, every view that I get. I'm just loving you all. I, I'm loving all of this. This has been so much fun. So yeah, let me know if you have any ideas on what I could do for like birthday shout outs. I mean, I don't want to go and do like a birthday gift um, every month or whatever, but, um, and I mean, to send a card, I would have to know quite a bit in advance to send a card to that person. So if I just do a shout out, that might work for everybody. As long as you're okay with me and I putting your name out there on my video. But let's carry on. Let's move it, move it along on this video. Before you know it, it'll be two hours like the one video was. I still can't get over that. Okay, NLT Bible Promise Book. Let's go with decisions. When you're facing big life choices, show me the right path, O oh Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Who are those who fear the Lord? He will show them the path they should choose. Psalm 25, 4, verse 12. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. Psalm 37, verse 5. Right down there is what I read. It's probably hard for you to read that, but... All right, this one, God's Messages for a Wonderful Woman. And I mean, these messages can go for men too. I'm not being, you know, I'm not being like that. Okay, it says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children and walk in love. Ephesians 5, <laughs> 1 to 2. Then it says, God's path. The problems and pressures of da daily life threaten to come between, between us and the path God has set for us and God's direction for us to walk. In the Bible, however, God gives us his signs, 
his signposts to keep us centered on his path and focused on his leadership. While human nature prompts us to scramble for strategies to overcome our problems, God's Spirit leads us in a different direction. Under the guidance of, God, of God's Spirit, we are able to travel not encumbered by fear, but enlightened by love, wisdom, and goodwill. Led in the path of God's truth, we can step forward in trust, knowing those things vexing us today will work in God work out in God's good time. When the problems come and the pressure's on, let God keep you on his path. And then the little prayer, guiding light, show me your path, especially when the problems and pressures of my day make me think I need to solve everything myself. Keep me firmly on your path of light and truth and enable me to walk in love. Amen. This one, walk by faith. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8, verse 10. I am born happy every morning. Unknown. Okay, let hope rise. Sorry, I'm just trying to get multiple um, th thumbnails here, just, you know. Okay, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over shall others give to you. For with the same measure that you give shall be measured to you again. Luke 6, verse 38. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Leviticus 19, verse 18. And I feel like I've read that already. So I'm going to read the next one because I feel like that was like deja vu. Okay, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23, verse 6. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever, whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Now that I really like. John 3, 16 was the first verse I ever learned. Okay, now we're going to try these new ones today. Now, I'm not sure how they're going to go. The first one is a coloring book, but I will just open it and read what it says. So this one is day one. And it's got a little bit of reading here, and then it's got some picture to color, or a picture to color. It says day one. We could never count the tre treasures heaven showers from above. For each new day, God sends our way a thousand gifts of love. We could never count the flowers that are painted by God's hand, or all the stars that shine above in heaven's wonderland. We could never count the treasures on Christ's cross of Calvary, where every drop of precious blood was shed for you and me. We could never earn the kingdom or the riches that we'll see when Jesus leads us by the hand into eternity. Patricia Ann M. I just want you guys to be able to see that because that's beautiful. And I 
I am going to need to find some kind of a bookmark. I'll do that. <laughs> okay, now this one. Today God wants you to know you are loved. Devotional journal. This one I will do a thumbnail with because it's brand new. I have not done this yet. And there's a lot of you out there that really like when I do these. So I will put this there and then that will tell some of you that, oh, there's a new one. <laughs> okay, let's go with the first one. You are beautiful. Don't be concerned about the outward beauty of fancy hairstyles, expensive jewelry, or beautiful clothes. You should clothe yourself instead with the beauty that comes from within. The unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is so precious to God. 1 Peter 3, verses 3 to 4, NLT. And then it says, something blossoms in women when we get our hair done and put on a fancy dress. We love to look beautiful. The greatest beauty, though, doesn't come with extra mascara or hairspray. It comes from within. Wear your smile and love the Lord. You'll shine from the inside out. So now I presume what this means is I am supposed to share my thoughts on what I just read. Do I disagree? Do I agree? Should I follow it? Or am I already following it? That sort of thing. And I will just tell you guys this for most of my life, uh, even, even a little bit now, I have always, 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 um, it's always mattered what other people thought of me, which is weird that I'm doing this video, this channel, because you would think that it didn't matter to me what people thought. I'm doing the video and that's all there is to it. If you don't like it, don't watch it. But I can't, I can't have that kind of an attitude because to me, I am very uh, kind-hearted and all that kind of stuff. So for me to look at somebody and say, you don't like the way I look, don't look at me. You don't like what I wear, don't look at me. Uh, um, you don't agree with my hair color, nobody asked you. You know, that kind of thing. Um, yes and no. Um, it's like I always used to tell my mom, you know, I would love to lose weight. And I'll just tell you guys now, you, you probably already know. I mean, it's not hard to tell. I am over 200 pounds. Um, I remember when I was at the, you know, 150, 160, 170, oh my gosh, 180, thinking to myself, oh, hey, if I ever hit 200 pounds I will just die I am just done I cannot get be that big well and then I look back at pictures of myself around that age where I would weighing less and stuff like that and I think what was I thinking there was nothing wrong with me I wasn't like fat I wasn't like the good year blimp like I was calling myself um but I have all, always, always been unhappy in my own skin. Always. Um, I've wanted to be thin. Um, like I have a best friend. She's got four kids. I've got four kids. She's way thinner than I am. And I've told her this before. And she's like, you know, I hate when you do that. Because our metabolism is different. But in my opinion, you know, she's got four kids. I've got four kids. We are the same age same height approximately why can't I have what she has you know and it doesn't life doesn't work that way you know um but I've never really liked myself um when back when, back back when I started dating it was always a I felt I would settle I wouldn't it, aim for the sky, aim for the stars, whatever, however you want to word that. Um, 
I remember asking my mom one year too, is what is wrong with me? Why do I date all these losers, all these... It's like they're fake men. What is wrong with me? And she would look at me and go, you want me to tell you? I know why. I looked at her and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know now. Maybe I don't want to know. I don't know what the heck that was. Dog hair? Ugh. <laughs> um, anyway, and uh, she said, because that's what you attract. And I looked at her and I thought, huh? How is that? I don't want to date, I don't know, a bum? She's like, okay, well, what about a lawyer? <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, why not? A lawyer? Me? Yeah, no. And she's like, see, there's your problem. And I'm like, huh? And it actually, it, it really, really had me think. Maybe she's right. <laughs> That's all I feel I deserve, so... That's all I, I will attract. Hmm. Makes sense. I hate when your parents are right. I hate it. <laughs> but, you know, um, so it, it's just really surprising. Um, the things that I've done with my life. Um, nobody's perfect. The only one that was ever perfect died on a cross. Um, and I know God made us all perfect in our own way, perfectly imperfect, however you want to put that. And, you know, I'm slowly learning. I'm finally with somebody, my husband, who it doesn't matter. Um, I used to be the type where I would go out for coffee and I had, I had everything, um, when it comes to makeup on I had the um what do you call it eyeshadow eyeliner mascara blush lipstick foundation I had it all I had it all on my earrings were all I had earrings on my hair was done nice and I would always get asked where are you going are you going out dancing no well, just for coffee looking like that why why not? It made me feel good. And um, then I met my husband and he's like, you know what? I prefer you without makeup. And I'm like, oh, what are you thinking? <laughs> and um, I'm like, you really need your glasses checked, or your eyes or whatever. And he's like, no, seriously, I prefer the natural. He's not one of those that you go out and you buy some nice um, sexy lingerie and whatever for Valentine's Day and he, that does nothing, nothing for him. He wants the natural. Run around in one of his shirts. And I'm like, uh, no, I don't, no, this, that's too much skin showing. And he's like, no, I'm serious. And he has slowly, slowly made me feel differently about myself. Not to the point where it's like, well, if you don't look like what I look at, then don't look at me. It's more of a, he's boosted my confidence. Uh, I don't even know if he realizes it. Um, but yeah, I am really running away with this video. I don't know if you want to say I'm going off on a tangent or what, but yeah, this was not the plan. This was going to be a very short video, not as short as last night's video, but I did want to get these readings done and this little bit of a dollar Dollarama haul. I have done that, and now I'm I'm just rambling. So anyway... Let me know, guys, about the, um, don't get old. Mm -mm. It is so, so bad for your health. <laughs> um, let me know about, what was it that I asked you? Does anybody know if? Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to watch my own video just to figure out what it was that, that I asked before. And nothing is staring me in the face to remind me either. Oh, Fishland Farmland coupon codes. If you guys know anything about those, are those like you can reuse them or what? 
um, because I do have mine posted, like I said, in the um, community section. But I do know that, like, for example, Hey Everybody has posted her game code. Pardon me, you guys. But I can't accept it or whatever because I'm not from where she is. So I think Canada and Canada, the States and the States, you know, that kind of thing. So if you're from Canada and you want somebody else to play uh, those two games with, my code is in the community area for both games. And uh, feel free to, I think you guys can post in there. Feel free to post yours in there or even under this video. That's fine. And then the other thing was um, birthdays. Let me know how you think I should do that to be able to give everybody a shout out. Because um, I know not everybody is going to watch every one of my videos. You might watch, you know, 15 out of 30 videos or 5 out of 30 videos. So you may not know about the birthday thing, but... If you guys have some ideas, let me know. And uh, on that note, I am going to say good night. I don't think I'll be going to bed. I'm probably going to finish that uh, that diamond painting that I started last night and catch up on all my videos that I haven't been able to catch up on. And um, um, yeah, so everybody, uh, new subscribers, thank you very much and welcome to the channel. I appreciate you being here. The um, returning subscribers, thank you so much for returning. I appreciate all of you as well. Um, thank you all for the likes in advance. Thank you for your wonderful um, comments. And until my next video, which I'm hoping will be next week, because I... Um, this weekend, I plan on doing nothing. This has been such a long week for me that started on Tuesday <laughs> that I just, I want to sit at home and do nothing. Maybe I'll do laundry. <laughs> Maybe I won't. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I don't plan on doing any shopping. So maybe next week I'll get a order, a team order. And, uh, or maybe, I know I ordered a couple things on Amazon, but I think those were pre-order -or items. So I don't even think there's a, uh, a known delivery date for them yet. I don't even think they've been shipped, to be honest. So um, everyone have a great rest of your day, whether it's evening, morning, or afternoon. I'm sorry, I'm picking a sticker off of this while I'm talking to you. And it's kind of distracted me. Stop it, Crystal. Smart now. That's rude. Jeez. Always wondering about what people think about you. Stop picking at stuff and not <gasps> looking at your audience. Gee, how rude. Anyway, um, with that said, everyone, stay blessed. And let me know if you want this put into a giveaway. I could do that too. Like my 500 subscribers or whatever. It's not really themed. Like it's not Valentine's Day or Easter. Yeah, it's colorful. But, I mean, that could be any time of the year, I think. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Bye for now, and thank you very much for being here.